Hi, my name is Bethany Friesenhahn and I'm from Texas A&M University, Kingsville. And I'm gonna to talk to you about evaluation of unmanned aerial vehicles to quantify wild pig damage to corn. Just some background on wild pigs. Uh, they're a global invasive nuisance that were first introduced to North America in the 1500s. Over time, they escaped or were released, resulting in the wild population we constantly battle with to this day. They're omnivorous and have reproductive, high reproductive rates, which aid them in their rapid population growth. Wild pig populations have been expanding rapidly because they're good at surviving and they are a desired trophy in recreational hunting species. In 2004, the population was estimated at 4 million pigs and it increased to the current population now over 6.9 million pigs, with 2.6 million of those pigs being in Texas alone. Pigs are found in almost all of the southeastern U.S. and have sporadic populations in northern states, most likely due to humans transporting them or releasing them for hunting purposes. With population expansion comes more damage. They disturb soil in both urban and rural areas, disturb natural waterways and native plant ecosystems, carry diseases that can be transmitted to livestock and humans, and are detrimental to crops. Wild pigs tend to target agricultural resources as part of their diet based on what is available seasonally. They're estimated to cause $1.5 billion in damage to agriculture, agricultural crops and control costs per year in the US. When quantifying pig damage, the method used to only consist of ground surveys and producer surveys, and that is a lot of ground to cover by foot. Uh, remote sensing technologies are proven to be essential tools used for spatial temporal information of the Earth's surface and is becoming a more common practice used by wildlife biologists. UAVs ha have been used to assess multi-scale habitat use and movements, look at population densities, and monitor and quantify pig damage in different ecosystems. But even with the push for more research and the advances in technology, there's still a need to understand the timing, extent, and cost of pig damage. So that being said, for my study, our overall goal is to integrate remote sensing and field-based approaches to assess pig damage in crops. The objectives are to quantify the pig damage, assess performance of UAV data at different growth stages, and calculate the yield loss due to pigs by using the producer's harvest yield technology. My study area was in Delta County, Texas, which is in the northeastern corner. The landscape is fragmented with several agricultural fields and pastures with riparian and forested areas that act as corridors, which are perfect for wildlife to utilize and move throughout the landscape. We selected five cornfields per year to monitor, ranging anywhere from 32 hectares to 116 hectares. The three fields on the left part of the map that are highlighted in pink were flown in both 2019 and 2020. And the blue and yellow fields on the right were either from 2020 or 2019. So we selected different fields due to um, crop rotation practices that were happening in that area. This project not only has a focus of damage and selection of corn, but it is to determine at what growth stage the crop is most vulnerable to damage and if the UAV can detect the damage at different growth stages. That being said, we scheduled our drone flights to occur during each of the four growth stages, establishment, vegetative, blister milk, and dent mature. Um, these stages were based off of information we gathered from farmers, so planting dates and harvest dates. The establishment stage consists of um, planting, seed germination, and seed emergence. The vegetative stage is the stage in between emergence and right before reproduction, so the plant is putting on leaves. The blister milk stage is an early reproduction stage that includes the kernels just starting to form, so they're really soft and milky. And the dent mature stage is where the kernel is dried out and becoming ready for harvest. Pigs damage cornfields differently depending on the stage of the plant. During the establishment stage, pigs will root up the soil to consume the seed and walk down the rows, continuing to root. During the vegetative stage, through the dent mature stage, 
the plants will be pulled down and trampled. So there's an obvious height difference in damage versus healthy plants. The methods for the UAV flights, we use a Phantom 4 Pro V2 RTK drone with a multi-spectral high resolution camera. We flew at 100 meters above ground level with 80% overlap. The accuracy was at one centimeter, one centimeter vertical and two centimeters horizontal. Um, missions were created in the PIX-40 mapper to fly transects of the entire field we were monitoring. Flights occurred anywhere from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. to avoid the shadow effects that could appear in imagery and distort it. And we needed wind speeds of less than 10 miles per hour, which is required for safety reasons. Methods for ground truthing. So to verify what is captured in the drone imagery, we ground sampled the fields for damage by walking transects of 12 rows in width and 20, 225 meters apart. We chose the 12 rows because that was the width of the combine that we were working with. Uh, because damage varies by growth stage, we had separate methods for establishment versus the later stages. For the establishment stage, we walked and used a measuring wheel to calculate the total of pig damage segments per row. For the later stage, stages, we used Tremble devices and the collector app to walk the same transects, but drew polygons around the trampled plants that were in larger areas and then placed points and locations that had less than five individual plants. Methods for creating an ortho mosaic. Um, we use PIX4D mapper photogrammetry software to create georeference 2D maps which we followed the procedure published by DiMaggio ETL 2020. Once that was completed, we geo-referenced each image and clipped the imagery to remove any boundaries so that way when we're um, running the, our methods, it wouldn't confuse the software. For the establishment stage, once we have the clipped and geo-referenced ortho mosaics, we digitized the lines of pig damage in RGS at a one to 100 scale. Once that is completed, we will calculate the total length of all damage segments and determine the number of seeds removed and the surface area of the field. So on this slide we have, um, while we're walking, this is the kind of damage that we're seeing. The second image is what the drone is actually capturing. So you can see pretty, pretty obvious um, pigs rooting down the rows. And then the last photo is our ortho mosaic and us going in and actually drawing those lines over the damage that we're seeing. For the later stages of plant growth, we created a digital surface model which shows the vegetation height of the plants in a digital terrain model. We subtracted the digital terrain model from the DSM or the digital surface model to get the actual height of the plants, also called the normalized DSM. The specified pig damage from other types of damage, such as tractor, wind, and water, we set a threshold of less than 0 0.2 meters. We chose this threshold. We chose this threshold because water damage affects growth early on. So either no plants grow at all or the plants growth is stunted. Wind damage is typically bent over on the stalk at around 1.5 meters and tractor damage will completely run over the stalk but leave signs of tire treads to um, help us differentiate between different types of damage. So again, the same setup as the previous slide when we were walking, this is what we were seeing and areas of trampled damage the middle pictures is what the drone is picking up. And you can see um, in the blister milk stage, the healthy plants are still green versus the trampled plants. And the picture below is the harvest or mature stage where the plants are brown, but you can still uh, see where the pig damage is occurring because it's a lighter color. And then for the last photo, that is the digital surface model and then the digital terrain models. Once we have detected and quantified pig damage in all stages of corn growth, we will combine those layers and determine the surface area of crop loss to pigs. 
This layer will be compared to the harvest yield data we received from the producers in Delta County. Harvest yield in the areas of pig damage will be averaged and then compared to the healthy plant harvest yield. Turn rows will be calculated as their own category of healthy plants because typically they are less productive. Calculating the difference in yield, we will determine cost of corn during the time of harvest and get the estimate of cost loss due to pigs. So this image in this slide is an actual um, harvest yield map that we received from one of our producers. And the darker green is a higher yield of plant. And then the reds and the oranges around the edges, which is also the turn rows um, represent a lower yield. Our preliminary results thus far show that pig rooting damage early on is very noticeable and can be easily detected and quantified from UAVs if it's not disturbed by rain or has debris, debris present on the surface. Pig damage can also be detected in later stages due to visual, oops, due to visual and height differences in damaged plants versus healthy plants. The only downside of the later, later stages is that the image processing proved to be more difficult to stitch together because of the high amount of vegetation and lack of variability between images. So in conclusion, UAVs can be very helpful at quantifying damage in corn at different stages at field scales, which requires less manpower and time than ground sampling. It does come with obstacles such as um, being dependent on the weather conditions Specific technology that everyone has is needed to carry out these methods and images may not always stitch together, causing blurry ortho mosaics to work with or holes of missing data in the field. But overall, drones are a reliable resource and can be helpful in determining the magnitude of damage in fields and quantify the economic cost of pig damage. With that, I would like to thank a ton of people. They put in a lot of long hours and hard work. Uh, the faculty and students at CKWRI, the NWRC Fort Collins, Colorado crew, Texas Wildlife Services, and the private landowners and producers in Delta County that um, allowed us to carry out our research for the last two years. So thank you. <laughs>